Hi and welcome to the program. Today we are looking at welding and the pros and cons of using a gas shielded solid MIG wire and a gasless MIG wire. Hopefully by the end of this program you'll have a better idea on what is best for your application. To demonstrate the differences, we've assembled a MIGAMAG welding machine with both wires. Before we start, it is important that at all times we have the correct welding apparel and safety equipment. As a minimum, you should wear appropriate clothing. A leather or flame retardant jacket or apron is ideal as a protective layer. Enclosed footwear such as steel cap boots, thick leather welding gauntlets and a standards approved welding helmet with correct welding filter lens to protect your eyes and face. Respiratory protection is also advised as welding fumes may be harmful. A P2 disposable respirator is preferred. If you are welding out of position, you may also consider the use of welding spats or a welding hood for added protection. Now that we have covered the welding safety, Let's start with some of the basics. As the name suggests, gas shielded solid MIG wire is a single continuous length of solid wire that is protected by a shielding gas that combines to form the welding arc within the welding process. The shielding gas plays a number of roles. However, most importantly, it protects the weld pool from contamination from the outside atmosphere. In contrast, Gasless MIG wire requires no shielding gas. It relies on an internal layer of flux to provide the protective shield, a bit like the flux coating that is visible on a stick welding electrode. It is the same consumable, however, it is manufactured in reverse. That is, the flux is on the inside of the wire. Now, you may have noted shielding gas is one of the critical elements. This is important as one of the factors that may influence your decision to use solid or gasless MIG wire is the location of the welding. For example, if you are welding outdoors or in a remote location, access to an industrial gas cylinder may be difficult or potentially the wind may be a problem as it can blow across the gas causing porosity in the world. In this situation, a gasless MIG wire would be preferable. No need to rely on shielding gas in the process or lugging around the gas cylinder. Now the good news is that the majority of modern MIG welders such as the MIGAMAG ASIM 200 are capable of welding with either wire. To weld with a gasless MIG wire we simply need to reverse the polarity of the machine. Another factor is the weld quality and weld appearance. The appearance of using gas shielded solid MIG wire is considered better than that of using gasless MIG wire. This is due to the residual slag coating that remains when using gasless wire. Similar to welding with a stick electrode, the slag coating must be removed manually with a chipping hammer. Obviously, this adds to the production process. Then there's the cost effectiveness to consider. Gasless wire isn't as efficient, so you'll need more of it than the solid wire. Solid wire is cheaper, but you'll have to factor in the cost of the industrial gas cylinder and the cylinder rental. Overall, the costs tend to balance out. Where it differs is the frequency of use. So as a quick recap, the choice of selecting either gas shielded solid MIG wire or gasless MIG wire will depend on the welding application where it is to be performed and the frequency of the welding. Solid MIG is best for welding in a workshop situation when the appearance of the weld is important and you weld often. Gasless MIG wire is best when you're welding remotely or welding in situ and when the appearance isn't the primary consideration. Finally, it is best for more infrequent welders such as the DIY market. So there you have it. Gas shielded solid MIG wire versus gasless MIG wire. Which one's the best for you? For more information on welders and consumable used in this demo, check out the welding range on this site. Before we go, a big thanks to the Metal Fabrication and Welding Centre at Sydney Institute TAFE, New South Wales. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.